things are about to get dicey. What are you doing there? Here lie those who fell facing the first invaders, and you dare enter and scatter their bones. I did not come here with the intention of defiling this place. No. You came looking for a crown of the High King, hoping to choose the one who will lead us. Isn't that what you are looking for as well? Yes, but I am not a Renaigse. I wish to lead my people to victory, 
and I have come here seeking something that will make it a certainty. And so? Do you plan on keeping it for one of those who is too wise or cowardly to come and get it themselves? Or will you give me the crown? Dertre is a great warrior. If she reigns, she will unite all of the clans. And with the blessing of Enon Milfrichtum and the people of your island will be chased away from here. Think long on this. If you leave her the crown, she will become the High Queen. You will not be able to change your mind. If I give you the crown, you shall be named High Queen. What will you do with this power? You have already shown to all that you are not like the other in Ixe. I will not hide from you the truth. Tirfradi does not want to welcome your people. They toy with us. Take without returning, kill and pillage. I will unite my people and cast all of the Monesenaig into their ocean wagons. They will go and pillage elsewhere. You want the crown so you can more easily rid yourself of my presence afterward? If you give it to me, you will become our Karants. And we do not chase away our Karanten. And also, you are on all Manawi. You are bonded to this land, not to theirs, no? I have come here looking for this crown, because I need the help of the next High King. I must meet Enon Mil Frichtemann to ask him to heal my people. Are you sure that they are your people? Very well. It is a very great honor you ask of me. But you took great risks in order to obtain it. If you give me the crown, I will open the sanctuary to you. You may speak to Enon Mil Frichtemann. I swear this to you. Very well. It is yours. But I hope you will remember what I have done. I helped you so that you will help me in return. I thank you. You are from this day a friend of Vedluk and of our warriors, and I always honor words given to Karans. We will meet again at Dorhad Ganador for the great choosing. Kwaalam Seg, Karans.
Karantz. Do you need something? I must leave. I've been waiting for you. I've got the crown. The council will soon unite. I must go and win. Thank you for giving it to me in the end. You are a current now. Have no fear. I keep my promises. Congratulations, Deirdre. Tiafredi now has a High Queen who will be strong enough to defend it. I hope you haven't forgotten the promise you made me. Don't be afraid, Karantz. I know the value of a promise, and I have not forgotten your help. But according to tradition, I must go and see Enon Milfrichtemann on my own first. Meet me at the entrance to the Sanctuary in two days, and I will get you inside. I will have had enough time to imbue myself with the strength of Tyr Fradi. Thank you, Dedra. I'll be there. We spent two days twiddling our thumbs in this village. Don't you think we have better things to do? Karantz, do you need something? I must leave you. See you later.
Karantz, do you need something? I must leave you. There you are, Garantz. How was the encounter? Good. Enon Mil Frichtemann has filled my heart with strength. As I expected, he warned me about the threat the Renaixi are posing for our island. But go! He is expecting you. Stay on the right-hand path and do not turn back. They say those who turn back awaken the guardians of the sanctuary. I hail you, Enon Mil Frichtemen. I have come to you to find a remedy. A cure for the disease of a distant land. Her affliction was to be poisoned by her own children. Her veins rocked in stagnant water. Her earth now bears poisoned fruit, and her children wither and die. And still it is those same children who can heal the lands, and with them heal themselves, if they only want it truly. They could be taught by my children, learn to give back in return, learn to heal. But for that, 
I must survive. I have seen by your side the shadow grow, taking form. Fed by the venom of intrigues from faraway lands, he spreads it today in my sight. Save his own life, he stole my strength, and that strength has driven him mad, because it is not made to be taken. He draws each day a little more from me, and threatens us all. His hunger has no limit. I don't understand. Who are you talking about? The one you call Constantine. You must stop him. Or there will be no cure anymore for anything or anyone. That's... that's impossible. How could that be? You must leave now. Someone has followed your footsteps. Someone has entered here without invitation. My children are waking and tracking. They will attack all for us. Flee, or you will be I saw a Renaig say fleeing the sanctuary. The Monasenaig must have slipped past you. Enon Milfrichtimen cannot have been pleased about it. Did he still give you the answers you were looking for? Yes. He told me that the Malachor had appeared because of the way the Colonials have treated the Earth. It's actually some kind of poisoning. And it would be possible to cure it, but I'm not sure that I understood how. So? The Renaixe would be the cause of their own deaths. If they weren't on the verge of doing the same thing to our island, I would be applauding. In terms of the antidote, Enon Mil Frichtimen is often difficult to understand. Ask Adonegad. Thank you, Dedra. I must dwell on it. You look like you bit into a bitter fruit. Did you learn anything else? Yes, but I would like to verify something before I tell you about it. Fine. You know where to find me once you are done. Kwaawalam seg, Karantz. Goodbye. Karantz, do you need something? I must leave you. See you later.
My dearest cousin, I'm so glad to see you. You are right on time. We have visitors, and your advice would be most welcome. Let me introduce you to the emissaries of the Bridge Alliance and Teleme. Seeing them both in the same room is rather surprising, isn't it? But please, Your Excellencies, explain to us what brought you here. Sire, I have come to humbly request your help. We have been sustaining terrible attacks. Really? Are the natives behind this again? Unless it is those traitors of the Guard. We aren't sure, but it is almost certain that the natives are involved. Governor Burren is hoping that you could send him your cousin, as well as some troops. It would seem that we are in a similar situation, sire. Our city has been sustaining terribly violent assaults, and our losses are great. Our Mother Cardinal is begging you to send her some help as soon as possible. Oh, dear allies. Knowing that you are in such a delicate situation fills me with sorrow. However, the size of our troops has greatly reduced after the horrific attempt to at Daku. Regarding sending my cousin, he's already very busy undertaking a mission of the utmost importance. Without even mentioning the fact that what you describe fills me with fear for his life, which is most precious to me. <sighs> no. I really don't see how I could be of assistance to you. Constantine. We cannot remain deaf to the call of our allies. I'm sure I can find time to go and evaluate the situation. I would love to accompany you, but my people are being wrongfully accused. I am certain of it, and I want to prove it. Very well, my dear. You know I cannot refuse you anything, but remember how urgent it is for this antidote to be found. We are so close to it now. Don't worry about it. You know how important this mission is to me. Well. This audience is coming to an end. Your Excellencies, inform your governors of my cousin's arrival. I hope that you realize how grateful you should be to him. Absolutely, sire. And we thank you both for receiving us. May the Enlightened always keep you in his divine blessing. Constantine, my dear cousin, I'm always happy to see you. What news do you bring? I finally managed to enter the sanctuary at the heart of the island, and I was able to talk with Enon Miel Frichterman. How marvelous! Tell me about it. The sanctuary is heavily protected. Only a high king can open it. <sighs> I remember you saying that Vimbar's death wasn't going to help us. How did you fix this problem? I had to interfere in the natives' elections and earn the trust of the pretender who seemed to be the best choice. You really are an outstanding diplomat. My father is an old, bitter man, but he was right about you. Tell me, who did you choose? Deirdre, the queen of the village of Vedluk. She's quite the radical warrior, but she's a strong leader. I am certain that you have made the right choice. And then what did you do? I was able to enter the sanctuary. It was an incredible experience. It had to be. Oh, how I envy you. Entering the most secret places on this island, talking to a god. What does he look like? Is he some kind of very old and very powerful Donegad? No. In fact, I spoke to an extremely large tree. As strange as it may sound. Fascinating. And I thought that gods were always old bearded men. Did he tell you where the Malachor was coming from? Is it a curse that he cast upon the first settlers? No. According to him, we are responsible for the emergence of the Malachor. By exploiting the Earth so much, we have poisoned it. And the disease has contaminated us through the water that we drink and the plants that we eat. Strange, and yet it seems plausible. So, there wouldn't be an antidote? He says that the Earth can be healed. That his children know how to do it. I suppose he was talking about the Donigada. He also said that by healing the Earth, we would heal those who live on it. This is a fascinating revelation. It won't be easy for our neighbors to accept it, however. I'm afraid that even my father might receive it with skepticism. Did he tell you anything else? No. But it's true that the conversation ended abruptly. An intruder had managed to sneak into the sanctuary, 
and we had to flee to evade the wrath of its guardians. An intruder, you say? Then I guess this sanctuary isn't that heavily protected. Your work really is exemplary. The entire continent should be thanking you. Is there anything you would like to tell me? You told me that during the ritual with Katasach, you felt the bond he'd created. It's true. And it was an incredible feeling. I felt like I was every blade of grass in that remote place. I could see everything, feel everything, and I knew that I could bend the trees to my will. Do you still feel that way? Yes, but in a more dull, muffled way. The first time, it was surreal and perfect. In fact, I don't know if there's a word for it. The first time? The first time it happened. Now it's as if I have become used to feeling this bond. I must take my leave. Take care, and come back soon. Karantz, do you need something? I must leave you. See you later.